I don't usually wear hats when I make YouTube videos, but if you saw my hair right now, you'd, you'd probably unsubscribe. It doesn't look too good. But I hope you're well. Welcome back to another video. Um, today, we're basically going to be talking about something that, like, if you do, will just massively hinder your ability to grow an agency. Uh, it's a psychological thing. You know, we talk about mindset on this thing. But if you're doing this, which you probably are in your agency, especially if you're in the early days, especially if you're in the, the, the first, like, one to two years of growing your agency, if you haven't been in the game for a long time, you're probably doing this and I'm gonna call you out on something and it might trigger you a bit. So I don't wanna piss you off and I don't wanna upset you, but I also wanna tell you a truth and give you something that I wish I knew when I started my agency. So my name is Charlie Morgan. I have built and scaled two companies, um, a marketing agency called Northflow Consulting. I scaled it to seven figures and sold it, ka-ching. And a coaching business called Imperium Agency where we help high ticket B2B service providers such as agency owners and coaches and consultants make more money and get more clients. Don't worry, there's no pitch, there's no 997 course, there's no free webinar, you can relax. And welcome to the channel if you are new. So this, this content and this channel is all about helping agency owners and coaches and consultants basically make more money, have more fun, make more clients, right? So that's the quick introduction, but here's something you're probably doing, and if you're doing it, it's gonna make you less money, it's gonna annoy you, right? So a lot of people are motivated by identity. A lot of people are motivated by pride, and a lot of people really want to become someone, and that's like, you know, if you're starting your business, there's always a psychological reason for that. It might be that you really want to basically prove to yourself or other people that you are successful and worth it, right? Worth is a pretty strong word that we use. A lot of entrepreneurs, when they start, they feel worthless, and there's nothing wrong with that, but the business becomes a vehicle and, a way for them to basically um, transcend their current self and feel like they're more worthwhile and that's pretty cool. Now this is where it becomes a problem because if you are motivated by identity, which basically, which I was, and you, most people are, it basically means like, you know when you see people on Instagram and they call themselves a CEO and they've got no clients yet, that's, that's what I'm gonna talk about today. You might not be a culprit of doing that specific thing, but I'm gonna explain why. Okay, here's the problem. Motivation comes in many different forms. What I'm talking about here is a very unconscious drive. If you're driven by wanting to seem successful and wanting to be successful, then chances are you want to see yourself that way and you want other people to see you that way. That is a very raw form of motivation. That is a unconscious drive that you, your body and mind will scamper to fill. And it's a drive vacuum, I call it a drive vacuum, it's in psychology, where there's something missing in your life, like a sense of worth or a sense of pride or a sense of meaning or perception of other person, and your business becomes a way for you to fill it. The problem is, is when you've got a motivation like that that runs so pure and so deep, the last thing you want to do is fill it. You don't want to artificially fill it, you want to naturally fill it. So this is gonna sound weird, but let me explain. Right now, if you haven't got any clients or a team, you do not run an agency you are a glorified freelancer. And that might sound annoying and it might sound insulting, but I don't intend to insult you, I intend to tell you the truth. A lot of people, if they dropped their pride and accepted themselves for like who they were, not in the sense of like sense of self, but like if you accepted that you're not great, right? This is very backwards because a lot of people don't think about all this, but if you accept the fact that you are just a freelancer right now, you're a glorified freelancer who's pretty broke and doesn't make much money. What will happen is like when you actually accept that identity, now I don't mean accept as in like accept defeat, right? I just mean actually objectively observe where you are and who you are right now. Are you an SMA, like are you an agency owner? Like an agency owner to me is someone who's got, they're making more than like six figures, they've got a small team and they're basically running an agency, right? They're actually running something. But a lot of people, they build a website and then they say they run an agency and that's fine. But the problem with that is that when you say you run an agency but you don't, you strip yourself of this so, this ridiculously strong unconscious drive to be this person that you want to be, right? And I really disagree with the premise of calling yourself something you're not because like you want to just strive towards that and create a future version of yourself that you can grow into. But when you already think you are it, right? And when you've become uh, pain avoidance and pride, you've conjured up and congelated an identity that you believe you are, but you're not, then it strips you of the motivation and the work to actually go and get that thing. So basically this is my point, right? This is you and this is your motivation. Let's say you're motivated here by pride and by wanting to seem like you're doing well, right? A lot of us are. Here's you and the problem is, is that you can arbitrate this and you can basically arbitrarily um, pretend that you are who you want to be by telling people you're an agency owner when you're only making one grand or two grand a month. What that does is it removes this motivation and it completely removes the motivation because now you think you are this thing. And when you remove that motivation, you're no longer stupidly motivated to actually become the thing. So you can either pretend to be it through like an unhealthy delusion and then stop trying because you think you are, or you can tell yourself you're not it and work your absolute socks off to become it. So this is like just a little psychological pattern that I've observed over the digital marketing online space for a very long time. Like here's an example, right? So I want to be seen as an eight figure entrepreneur, but 
I don't go around telling people that I'm an eight-figure entrepreneur because it's it's much more tangible. Um, I also don't want to go around telling people that I'm an investor, right? Because I want to become an investor and I do have investments. But if I say like, I'm a successful investor, then it strips me of the motivation and drive and that concrete sense of will to drive me towards actually becoming a successful investor because I'm a successful investor because I already think I am. So if you're not, don't think you are. Now, there's a caveat to this because sometimes like it's necessary for you to try to conjure up like a sense of self that is so that you're motivated to succeed. Because if you just believe that you're this person that is never going to make it and you're not an agency owner, well, so you might just think, well, what's the point? But that's not what I'm trying to get at here. You, I'm hoping you can sort of see the fine line between self-belief and delusional identities, if that makes sense. Believe in who you're becoming and your ability to manifest that, right? Um, and by becoming who you need to become, like, I never tell people to go after their goals. Like, you don't want to, you don't want to try and make 10 grand a month. You want to become per someone who can, right? You never want to go after a six-figure business. You want to try to go after becoming the person that can build a six-figure business because ultimately you can control yourself and you can control your identity and image and belief set to a degree. And it's through that control that the, you know, we can extrapolate out the business and that then manifest, right? It's pretty cool. But this is super important. If you are starting and you haven't got a team and you haven't got a bunch of clients and you're not making a good amount of money, you are not an agency owner. And that's okay, right? You're not a CEO, you're not a founder, you're a glorified freelancer. If you accept that, you'll feel some pain. Your ego will take a hit. But in this moment, you want your ego to take a hit. You want to feel a sense of, sense of like pain, like, oh shit, I'm not what I thought I was. Because that pain and that disgust that you might feel towards yourself and I don't want you to feel like you're disgusted towards yourself but that you get what I'm saying like that pain that you now experience as a result of actually accepting where you are should push you towards becoming what you want to be it's kind of like if you are morbidly obese but you look in the mirror and you see a skinny person you're not going to have any motivation to lose the weight because you don't know that it's not there, right? It's the same sort of thing. So little mindset thing. I hope this has been useful. Please do like the video if you like the video. Um, subscribe if you want to see more future videos like this. By the way, liking the thing, like it really helps me because the only objective I have with this channel is obviously to make a shitload of money, but the second objective and probably the main one really is to help you, right? Is to help you like and give you the lessons that I've learned um, that help me get to, you know, multiple seven figures. This is a big one and this is one of them. And if you like this video, what will happen is YouTube will show this video to more people like you. So if you feel like you needed this and you want to share this message with other people, then like it. Um, also comment any other video ideas you might have for me. Um, I'm always open. I read all the comments. I reply to all the comments and you know, a lot of them warm my heart. A lot of them make me laugh. So you can, you know, maybe write a line about my hairline or something, but uh, you know, or a YouTube video idea would be helpful. But you know, if you are, um, a course provider or an agency owner or you're a coach or consultant and you want to make more money and get more clients but you don't want to have to go through a webinar or a 997 course click the first link in the description i think you'll like it everything for me i hope you have a good day and i will see you in the next video